Let's now do some differential calculus. Suppose you have a parametric equation. You can find derivatives of x and y as normal. And when you find these derivatives, they're with respect to the parameter dx dt equals 2t dy dt equals the sine of t. What if we wanted to know not the derivative of y with respect to t, but the derivative of y with respect to x. I mean, just because we have a parametric curve, we can still talk about the slopes of tangent lines, for example. And to do that, we need this derivative rather than this one. It turns out that to find this derivative, you find these two derivatives. And then you divide them. So the derivative of y with respect to x is the derivative of y with respect to t. divided by the derivative of x with respect to t. And notice that even though you are taking the derivative of y with respect to x, you do end up with your derivative in terms of your parameter. Let's give one more equation. The equation for the second derivative of y with respect to t. And we are going to break symmetry here. That is to say, we are not going to have the second derivative of y with respect to t over the second derivative of x with respect to t. What we're going to have is the second derivative of y with respect to t divided by the first derivative of x with respect to t. So going back to this example, if we wanted the second derivative, we'd differentiate this a second time, the derivative of the sine is the cosine, but we would not differentiate this a second time. The cosine of t over 2t. 